Jeremy McDonald and Northview cruising to the district tournament. They're facing Ashland this evening at Lake First Quarter. Wildcats pounce. Sean Craig goes off last. Junior giving Northview a nine-point lead, but this game would be tied at half. In the third, Northview down one. Justin Noe misses the baseline jumper. Grant Copen there for the putback. Northview now up 30-29. Later in the third, Craig over to Casey Hunt in the corner. Eyes it flies it. Three is good. The last two BK players of the week combining for the triple. Hunt 21 points. More from Craig. First team all BCSN top 10 watch list member drives and finishes. 52-46 Northview, and that's part of a 14-2 Wildcat run. Noe the three-pointer. Northview, they don't look back after that run. They advance with the 76-64 win. Craig, 25 points as the Wildcats took control in that third quarter. We just trusted our experience. You know, we really just wanted to control the game ourselves. We felt like they were speeding us up. We just had to slow down and really ex uh, execute in crunch time. You know, second quarter, I felt like I was having empty calories, you know, just going up the floor and doing nothing. So in the second half, I tried just to get down to the rim and kick out the teammates or get my own offense. It's got to be um, our toughness. Uh, uh, we started to move the ball better in the third quarter, which opened up shots for me and um, my teammates. So I think that was a big part. Yeah, we wanted to stop Denbo and White. They're tremendous players, and that was a big focal point for us tonight. It feels amazing. I'm. I'm super pumped. I'm super happy for my team and myself, and it's just a great feeling. Wildcats will play the winner of this next matchup. Will it be fellow NLL member Perrysburg or the track Lima Senior? Ken and Klutzmeyer with six of the Yellow Jackets' eight points to start the contest lays it in despite the triple team. He had 10 points in the first half, finished with 14. Spartans outscored the Jackets 19-8 in the second quarter. Jaquan Moore gets the steal and score. Lima Senior took the 27-18 advantage into the break. Mason Schultz makes it a five-point game here, though, with three to play in the third. Just seconds later, Spartans respond. Shalom Stout from the top of the key. Nine Spartans scored for Lima Senior as Lima advances thanks to tonight's 51-41 victory. Focus is what it's been all year. You know, defend, try to make it obviously a little faster than what our opponents would like. Um, try to get in the passing lanes a little bit. Uh, I thought we did a good job of that, not consistent throughout the game, but we made some good shots, got some plays when we needed to defensively. Uh, got a good win. BCSN's Brad Wozniki had the call of these games live on BCSNNation.com and breaks them down from Lake High School. Thanks. Back out here at Lake High School where we began the night with Northview and Ashland, two teams that did not see one another during the regular season, but two very successful teams. Northview coming in, 20 wins on the season. Ashland had won 18 games. It was a big turnaround this year for the Arrows compared to last season. And in this ball game, it really, for the first three quarters, was all about who could get from one end to the other the fastest. A very quick ball game, a lot of points in that one. And it was the third quarter in which Northview started to create a little separation. They went into the fourth with a six-point lead and then had a 9-2 to two advantage to start that fourth quarter and take control of it. You saw Luke Denbo for Ashland try and lead the arrows. He put on a bit of an offensive show in the third quarter and finished with a game-high 27 points. But for Northview, you had the one-two punch of Sean Craig and Casey Hunt. Sean Craig, 25 points. Casey Hunt finished with 23, and Northview is headed back to the district final. Then in our second game, we found out their next opponent. Lima Senior and Perrysburg meeting for the second time. The two teams met back in early December, and forget about that game. It was all about how far along these two teams have come and earning a spot in the district final. And the second quarter was a bit of the story in this one. Perrysburg led by two after one and was outscored 19-8 to in the second. A big three from Khalil Luster at the end of the second quarter gave Lima Senior control of the game, and the closest Perrysburg got in the second half was six points. Cannon Klusmeyer finished with 14 to lead the Jackets, but at the end of the night, Lima Senior sharing the basketball, nine different players score, and the Spartans come to Lake High School, get the job done. What a matchup it's going to be, Northview and Lima Senior coming up on Saturday.